Wharton Middle School teacher has been removed from the classroom after using a racial slur to describe presidential candidate Barack Obama. Come help a N-word get elected. If Obama was a white man, he would not be in this position. And if he was a woman, he would not be in this position. If I wanted Obama to succeed, I'd be happy the Republicans have laid down. I hope he fails. Our top political priority over the next two years should be to deny President Obama a second term. This guy is, I believe, a racist. Today, I'm very proud of myself. Our president has finally released a birth certificate. I have been saying, why do people hate you? So tell me, how does that make you feel? And why do people hate you? How does that make you feel? Feels like, feels like, I see, I see, bend down, bend down, oh. Go on. Continue, tell me about it. What are you thinking about? I feel betrayed. Why do you feel betrayed? Hey, listen, you should go look over him. Huh? Hey, listen, I got your back. Yo, you crazy, Derek? You don't hear them damn gunshots, yo! Who's Derek? You said Derek. I want to know who Derek is. That. You ever been shot at?
Honestly, I'd rather be out in fucking Afghanistan instead of in the middle of the fucking jungle with all these mosquitoes and bugs and shit. Hey, yo, fuck the Taliban. <laughs> I'm more worried about the Republicans, bro. <laughs> I can't say that I have. Now, Derek? It's nice to meet you, Derek. Same here, man. So how'd he get you? <laughs> that was a badass, yo. I couldn't stay out of trouble in high school, so. My guidance counselor figured that this be the best bet for me in life. I don't know. That's what's up. <laughs> yes. What about you? Yeah, family generational thing. You know, father, his father, uncle. And the list goes on. <laughs> you know the rest. Yeah. Man, you was really that bad, though? <laughs> Yo, just put it like this. I put the do, and best I do is die. You from Brooklyn? Yes, man. I'm from Marcy. <laughs> Say what? 209. Yo, Tompkins building up in 99. Yo, get the <laughs> fuck out of here, yo. In the middle of Asia, and I meet someone from the stop? It's crazy. So. Oh, yeah, they, they have me stationed out Florida, though. <laughs> they sent my black ass down to Texas. They ain't want me nowhere near New York. Figured I'm gonna start some shit. <laughs> I don't know. Yo, you ever seen a cowboy? The closest I got was Emmett Smith. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Honestly, it's a way of life in Texas. We we'll gonna see a couple cowboys. Maybe a cowgirl too. I don't know. <laughs> that shit wild out there though. Yeah, it's crazy. So Derek's your best friend? Yes. Derek's my best friend. So how does he relate to your feeling of betrayal? Shit, man. <laughs> we in the hood, man. We uh, already man. at war. Yo, we're in the fight, bro. Man. <laughs> you know, so, already shooting each other out here. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you so, think he's on the motherfucking roof. <laughs> Sniper <laughs> ring. Hell yeah. Yeah, you right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Target practice out here. Picking niggas off, man. Go to Afghanistan across the street. Shit, Best time, Afghanistan. I will never, never join the army, man. Yeah, I, feel you, bro. I mean, like, for real, man, that's no place for no black, man. I don't know, y'all. I feel you, man. We already getting fucked enough in the U.S. Yeah. Fuck, I look like going to another country, a foreign country. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't yo. want my black ass there anyway. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just to go get fucked some more, man. Nah, oh, man, that's not yeah, my style, yeah. bro. We only get fucked up in the hood. <laughs> Shit, man. Word. Hey, yo, Pete Kane, right? My uncle, or my man's uncle. Yeah. He um, he was in the military and shit. You know what I mean, upstanding guy. He come back home. This nigga was twisted, twisted, twisted. It's dark mentally, man. Bro, he ain't even remember his own daughter, man. Whoa, his own daughter. Wow. That's how serious this shit is, man. That's, That's how crazy. real it is. Man, that's why I'm staying my black ass right here. Yeah, you ain't gonna get this right. African in the damn army. <laughs> Give it to us, please! Yeah. Give it so what did you do? I didn't do anything. That's why I feel betrayed. Why? Because of the young men on the bench? No. Because I felt like we were fighting for a country that doesn't even care about us. So, tell me about that. I don't know why they don't care about us. No, not that. You said work. But you're still fighting. I'm not real. And I'm not here. Am I? Frankly, I don't think this has anything to do with race at all. What? But there is one thing I would like to know. So why don't you tell me? 
Derek. What happened to your best friend, Sergeant Anthony Horn? Excuse me? 